Now let's see how easy it is to actually deploy a database using PDS. I'm going to sign into the PDS dashboard. I'll pick Postgres for this example. All I really need to do is provide a name. I'll call this thing demo. Pick a backing Kubernetes cluster and namespace. Let's see what the default configuration is here. It'll create a PDS database. I could pick a t-shirt size. I'm just going to go with small in this case. I'll leave it just at one node. I can scale this out later. And if I wanted to, I could schedule backups, but I'll leave it. I'll leave it without any backups for now. And that's it. Click deploy and we've got a database that's being deployed. You can see it takes only a few seconds for it to come up. Now I have a running database, a Postgres database. I can check the status, you see it's all healthy. I can go grab the endpoints that my application would need to use to connect, including the password. All right, so now that we have this deployed, let's go ahead and take a backup. We don't have any data in here, but just to prove the point, we can go ahead and take an ad hoc backup of this database. And because there's no data, it should only take a few seconds to complete. You can see it's running now and should take a second. There you go. We've got a back backup of this Postgres database without any data. And let's go ahead and scale this out now. We only had one pod running, but now let's add a streaming replica. Again, this should only take a few seconds because it's running in, in Kubernetes. And there you have it. We now have, we now have it, two nodes in our Postgres cluster, one streaming replica. And one last thing, let's go ahead and check out some of the metrics that we're capturing. We've got Kubernetes metrics, Portworx metrics, and application metrics. And there you have it. We've deployed a database, taken a backup, and scaled it out all in less than two minutes.